coffee is very much a Nicaraguan love story. Here at Selva Negra, in the highlands of northern Nicaragua, the average elevation is 4,000 feet above sea level. These Arabica coffee plants sway gently under the awnings of tall banana trees, which provide shade, a consistent water supply, and potassium-rich soils. Without chemicals, these plants will continue to produce for 60 years, averaging about 2,000 pounds of coffee cherries per hectare. It is the annual Nicaraguan harvest. By 3 p.m., workers are done picking for the day, with sacks full of fresh cherries ready for the pickup truck. While the heat is tempered by elevation here in the mountains, the shifts still start at 6 a.m. It is a physically demanding job, and teamwork is critical. The community of coffee workers is tightly knit, most of them permanent employees living nearby, with others traveling in from Honduras and Guatemala for harvest. These cherries are selectively picked, with only ripe red cherries making the cut each day. The cherries are surprisingly sweet and fleshy, with a thin pulp surrounding the central green coffee bean. They will be washed and sorted, then have skins and pulp removed. The inner coffee beans are then separated by size, raked carefully into fermentation tanks, rinsed again, then packed up for drying. The drying process starts with incredible physical feet. Each worker carries a bag of fermented beans weighing 120 pounds, filling up multiple rooms to approximately 20,000 pounds total. These beans will be sun-dried to roughly 11% moisture content before the final hulling, cleaning, sorting, and grating. In order for the beans to dry properly, they must be spread out evenly across the floor and turned every few hours. No shortcuts can be taken here with these coffee beans as the risk of contamination runs high. A mere 2-3% to of lesser grade coffee beans will lower the quality rating of an entire batch of 100 pound beans. Once the grating is completed, unroasted beans will be shipped to the final roaster via freight, not air, because high altitudes ruin the beans flavor. At Selva Negra, coffee is a story made of small details with every step done carefully to showcase the beans' natural glory. We hope you'll appreciate and enjoy them as a star of this dessert and cocktail pairing.